Brentwood Middle School opened in August 1972. It's a large school with 1,250 students in grades 6 through 8. In 2014, it was named by thebestschools.org as one of the top 30 schools in the USA. Learning can be hampered in environments where students are distracted by noise or in temperatures that are too hot or too cold. In 2013, it was decided that the 41-year-old school should replace its antiquated HVAC system. They chose a system that would need no ducts for conditioned hot and cool air, would keep the classrooms quiet, would let teachers control their individual classroom's temperature, and would use no floor space for equipment. The project required removing all the ceiling tiles, all lighting, all the old duct work, all floor-mounted air handlers, and all roof-mounted equipment. The work was done during two summer breaks, so there was no need to close any classrooms. Here's Jeff Owens, project manager at Interstate AC Service. Okay, what we got is a uh, Mitsubishi VRF system. And in each of the classrooms, we have a uh, ceiling cassette takes care of this particular room. And it's thermostatically controlled on the wall there. The teacher can control the temperature in each room. Before, they did not have that. It was on a central system, so we have one thermostat control multiple rooms. This is called a ductless system because there's no duct work above the ceiling, and you have four directional blow airflow there, and you see the four vanes, so the air is blowing four different directions in the classroom. And they are, on this particular job, there are approximately 74 of these type units throughout the building. Another good feature for these Mitsubishis are they, are they range between 30 to 35 decibels. So as you can see and hear now, you can't even hear the thing running in the classroom. It's very quiet, unlike a conventional system. Each one of these are connected to a condensing unit on the roof. A condensing unit have you know, 15 to 20 air handlers per each condensing unit. It has like a flow of refrigerant and as the system requires heating or cooling, it will flow the refrigerant needed to heat or cool this particular room. This is a, a two-ton capacity unit, so it can get as much as 24,000 BTUs refrigerant. Of course, there has to be a way to bring fresh outside air into each classroom, and that does require ducts and vents. Resnor makeup units on the roof filter the air, and blowers pump the air to the vents. There are no return air ducts. The fresh air pumped in by the makeup units result in the rooms having a positive air pressure, which then exits through leaks around windows and doors. This is a makeup air unit, and there are five of them on the roof here that takes care of the outside air. A hundred percent air goes in this machine, and it is the air is tempered, heating or cool, or what might be required and then it's, it's directed to each classroom for fresh air. That's the coil. There's your coil. See this wheel? This is the enthalpy wheel. Okay? What that does is that takes mold, uh, any kind of allergies to, to take care of that. Air passes through that wheel and it, it, it grabs it. Hmm. And every so often you have to clean the wheel. The brown covers required by local codes are for aesthetics. As the sun comes up in the morning, one side of the building requires cooling, while the other side does not. An energy management system determines which of the eight condensing units to run. This saves energy. The energy used is being measured by the energy management system and is expected to be 25 to 30 percent less than the old system. Data from the old system has been retained and in a year, we should be able to report the exact figures.